-hmm. After staying in India for years, one of the things which I realized that was so common, especially on the internet, was the conflict between India and Pakistan. And from so many stories in movies or news, it was showing up to me that there was something which was so sensitive to India. And I never took time to try to learn about it as deep as possible. This year, it happened that I made a video in which out of searching on Google, the map of India, which I could use in my video, I ended up using a map which was wrong and brought up about the issue between India and Pakistan without me knowing about it. So I remember after posting the video, people messaging me and, and people in the comments asking me to correct the map and confused who I was. I thought I was just using a map which I got on Google. I ended up finding the right map and using it to make a different video. And that's led me to take now more time to sit down and try to understand more about the conflict between India and Pakistan as a Congolese. It became more complex than how I was expecting it to be, but here are three lessons which I go out of it, which could help African countries to not fall into such a complex conflict. Number one, the danger of being extremist in religion. It somehow appears as if the conflict between India and Pakistan would be classified as a conflict of religion, but it became strange the more I was learning about it and realizing that there were actually people from Islam religion who could support India and people from Hindu religion who could support Pakistan. And the idea of they all want peace. Extremism in religion have been one of the major factors which drove this conflict. So it's okay to support your religion, but being extremist to the point of doing wrong to others because of that is not something to go with. Since also every religion preach peace. The importance of dialogue. It's been shown that to many attempts they have been trying to fix this with dialogue, but it seems also that at every point Every sign has a reason of being right, but at the end of the day, I came to realize that when people could sit down and have an arrangement together, there is much more chance of having peace when people sit down and fix things rather than going into war. The importance of economic development. I realized also that the more a country could develop, the less it would think of doing harm to others. And the less a country would be developed, the more they would be involved into trying to harm others. Which this shows when there is more job, more opportunities in a country, there is very less time to think on provoking others and i think three things are some of the things which could avoid the ongoing wars in so many countries in africa right now because if you see it also most of these wars or conflict happening in africa are also based on economic reasons on religious reasons and not being able to sit down and dialogue and learning about it of course i couldn't know too much but but because of a mistake of using a wrong map i ended up learning more about how conflict should be resolved using the case of India and Pakistan. I wish more peace and better future for all countries, especially in Africa and in my country, Congo. Thanks so much for being here. Catch you next time.